Hello everyone, Jankos here from back home um, after the end of season for G2 Esports and for me of course. Um, as you can see the quality of the camera is not the same as it used to be in the gaming house but uh, I will do... I just felt like talking to you basically, right? Um, <clears throat> so the season ended and I wanted to say a few things. First of all, I think that... Uh, I mean, of course, it's a huge disappointment this year. There is no way around it. There is no way to say it other than that, right? We were supposed to make it to Worlds. We were supposed to be good in Europe, right? The goal is always to win. Um, and we failed to do so in Spring Split and Summer Split. Um, so it, it is very fair to say that the year is just a disaster and, and a huge disappointment for everyone and for the players, for the org, and also for you guys um, as the fans watching and cheering for us. I think though that summer split went better um than spring split did just talking about the splits a little bit i felt like in spring split probably after the end of the season it felt like we could have done more as players um basically it felt like we could try harder right that it was not the final form of what we should be and how we should play and everything it felt like um we need to give more of ourselves in uh, summer split uh, and in Summer Split, I felt like we worked actually pretty hard, all of us, right? I think every player, every, where our management, our coaching staff, everyone tried really, really hard throughout the whole split to make it work and to uh, win the split, right? The goal was to actually win the split and be in the best shape possible to compete at Worlds. Um, and I felt like, yeah, we kind of all gave it our best. Maybe we had different ways of giving it our best right I, I think not every person is the same and i think that for every person it works slightly different what they should do to be at their peak performance but i believe that in summer split everyone individually and as a team stepped up a lot and we tried our hardest to be at worlds this year um and to compete there as individuals again and as a team uh, but we fell short in the in the end um, we changed like some of our schedules as well in the split where we did a lot of team activities and uh, I think overall I think that summer split was super enjoyable and I think hopefully you could support the players more now that I mean given we lost against both Matt and Fnatic I went through I guess Twitter, Reddit and some other things and <laughs> I just felt like there's a lot of hate going on to maybe Wunder or Miki or me, myself, right, Reckless, uh, Caps, uh, coaching staff, whoever, right? I mean, there's, of course, there's like haters for everyone, but I personally felt like every single player in our team tried the very hardest they could and gave their, themselves like fully to the cause of, of, you know, competing on the highest level. And that is why um, I would like to say it out loud that I don't think, in the team at least, between teammates, um, I mean, we were playing as a team and we were as one kind of during the series. So there is, of course, no hard feelings between players. And um, I would like the players to be like su supported more, if that makes sense, instead of being looked down upon by you um, and blamed, right? Because, I mean... There is always a case where you could blame me for a lot of loses and you can blame other players for a lot of loses. And in the end, we are a team and we compete as a team, right? So it doesn't matter as much like individual performances, but how we perform as a team. Um, and again, I mean, I'm very repetitive right now. I'm repeating myself a lot, but I felt like everyone kind of did their best. So to close this down, please be more supportive of the players because we never know what will happen in 2020. Two, I had to look at the calendar, I'm getting too old. <laughs> we never know what will happen in 2022, and Carlos already tweeted that um, he wants to rebuild, right? And I don't know what that means, and I don't want to say anything or spread any rumors, because I personally have no clue what will happen in next year. For now, I know that I'm signed until, I guess, the end of next year, and so are other players, but what will happen, we'll see. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the end of this subject and the other subject is for the future i didn't really plan much on well i didn't really plan much right <laughs> because i thought that i'm not really gonna have four months off and i thought that i'm gonna make it to china now the worlds are moved from china to europe 
So um, I guess at least I can compete in solo queue against some of the best players if I cannot compete as a team. So that's kind of interesting actually and I'm pretty happy that the teams will come here. It will also make it easier to probably watch the games with you guys, right? Most likely I'm going to live view the games, the worlds. Uh, I will probably not live view Europe as I have some um, appointments with my friends and family this weekend. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to watch Europe with you guys, but I'm definitely going to watch Worlds with you. And uh, hopefully that will also help me to improve and learn and grow as a player and as a person. Um, but yeah, I have no plans whatsoever. I will go back to streaming very soonish. Uh, definitely going to hit up some solo queue to prepare for 2022. Uh, but besides that, uh, I will most likely touch on other games as well. Maybe do some variety streaming, uh, maybe some horrors, maybe other games as well. Uh, that will be coming out later this year. Um, and I wanted to go to Korea uh, to play solo key as well. I'm not sure if that's possible anymore though, because from what I saw, you can't go to Korea unless, well, you have business there um, or you have a family member there. And I don't have neither. I mean, technically I could go. Uh, or try to go as business as of, you know, competing and playing solo queue, but I'm not sure if that's legal. So I'll have to look into it. And if it's possible, I'll definitely go to Korea. If it's not, then I will stay in Europe and, uh, you know, and just uh, just play solo queue from here. But yeah, I mean, not, not like specific plans for the future. I still want to compete. I guess I can say that. I don't want to retire yet. Uh, my goal was to always, always win Worlds and I was never able to do so. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I had... Well, I never won Europe and it improved over the course of a couple of years. Now, um, maybe this year was pretty bad, right? But uh, whatever happens next year, I'm sure that I can still compete on the highest level and I still have the motivation or rather the dedication. Or I'm willing to sacrifice things to just try again to be the best and to compete on the highest level because it's still what drives me and I enjoy it over streaming, which I also enjoy a lot, but um i competing is still the main thing i want to do so yeah i mean i guess now that i have a lot of time off i'll probably think about my life a bit as well since you know all, all, all there is to it is league of legends streaming uh but yeah that's kind of it i just wanted to make sure that you understand that i'm fine as well i wanted to say that i'm fine and i had i took a couple of days to rest and um you know think over what happened and how the year was and yeah i mean it's it's a competition right not always you can be on top there's people that are trying as hard as you are and uh, not in every case you can you can be the best you can be the champion so even though the year was disappointing i had a lot of fun playing um especially in the spring split uh, sorry summer split and uh, let's see what the future brings and, and for now please make sure to be supportive towards uh, you know everyone whom um, lost not only our team i guess but all the other teams all the other players um and i will probably see you next time oh actually one more question just before i turn it off any suggestions on youtube content that they would like to see would be highly appreciated because it looks like I'll have more time to do YouTube content now. Um, and of course, I will continue the coaching um, coaching series and probably some uh, guides to champions, some solo key guides as well. Uh, but yeah, anything you would like to see, maybe leave a comment down below. I would appreciate it so that I can see what people actually want or like what they are interested in, right? And then I can maybe mix ideas up and, and see how it goes. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you um didn't mind my tech ted talk too much and uh, and i hope my face was lookable like good enough to be lookable at for, for the past couple of minutes um and yeah well i will see you around on youtube on twitch uh, on social media and uh, hopefully even though i can compete we can enjoy uh, you know cheating for european teams together because in the end as much as we are competitors during the season, um, now we are allies against all the, all, the, all the other regions. And I truly hope that whoever it is, Mad Lions, Rogue or Fnatic uh, will, you know, will play very well. And I do think that Mad Lions actually is super, super strong now. So um, I think they will, they will be the ones winning the split. And I also am curious how they will do at Worlds. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you around, I guess. So uh, yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.